Milwaukee just announced easily its most insane battery yet. Erin apparently knows Jack. Ryobi has a new nailer and Recon announced a new innovation. We've also got huge chainsaws, battery tests, angle grinders, and the scariest trimmer blade we've ever seen. Plus, we have a new platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tool. This is The Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Sarah, that's Rob, and we're starting this week with a clever new tool from Irwin. That is the all-new Irwin Quick Lift Construction Jack. It's a portable, handheld, and operated jack that provides an extra hand for countless applications from building to installation. With a few pulls of the large grip trigger, you can lift, level, and precisely align anything in no time. It can lift up to 330 pounds and up to 10 inches. It also features controlled lowering to protect your fingies. This thing will lift and level doors doors, cabinets, windows, and more. You can even use it as a wedge to tighten up your flooring. Now, I'm sure you guys are already thinking of more uses that I'm not. The new Quick Lift Construction Jack is available right now at your local Lowe's for $99. Ryobi had a few new announcements this week, starting with a new Speedbench mobile workstation. This thing is apparently so special, Ryobi gave it its own logo. Check that thing out. This two-in-one product is both a workbench and a cart. As a cart, it can support up to 300 pounds of cargo, and in workbench form, that goes up to 400. It it has a large 42 inch by 22 inch wood work surface with four sided edge clamping and both standard and metric reference lines. The top can be adjusted to two different work heights to adjust to the project at hand. It has durable 10 inch all terrain rubber wheels, reinforced steel frame and rubber anti skid feet. There are also multiple link accessory rail mounting locations for use with the included link double organizer bin and of course any of the link compatible products and accessories. Sarah and I actually made an awesome video about that and you should watch it. The new Speed Bench will be available this May for $199. But that wasn't Ryobi's only announcement. They also launched an all new Ryobi 18V1 Plus Air Strike 23 gauge pin nailer. Now, this is an update to their well received P318. The new PCL310 can drive up to 4,000 nails per charge on a 6 amp hour high performance battery and 1,000 nails on a 2 amp hour. It can sync up to 1 and 3 8 inch pin nails, all in the smallest form factor yet for Ryobi. It's technically 10% lighter than the P318. It has a non marring pad to protect your work surface and dry fire lockout for when you run out of nails. The nailer will also hit the shelves in May for 159 bare or 189 in a 2 amp hour kit. Recon just announced a clever new addition to their growing collection of high-tech job site measurement solutions. This is the Anu P1L Tagger Construction Printer. This little guy seamlessly allows you to organize and label anything on the job site. It's integrated with the Rock job site app and can automatically create labels with both printed text or QR codes. The labels are purposefully inexpensive, making it practical for labeling everything from materials to issue tracking. And it's so small you can mount it to your miter saw or even hang it on your belt. There are a ton of use cases that we can think of, but we'll have to wait for the official launch this Tuesday to see exactly what it can do. You can sign up on Recon's website to be notified when it launches and get an exclusive discount while you're at it. We'll put the link in our description. Milwaukee has finally officially launched the most interesting tool we saw highlighted at last year's pipeline. That's the Milwaukee Roll-On 7200 watt 2.5 kilowatt hour power supply. That, my friends, is the largest battery Milwaukee makes by a long shot. The battery in this thing is equivalent to three of the biggest MX batteries combined. And what exactly is this giant battery for? Why charging your smaller batteries, of course, or powering your tools directly. It's temporary power for your job site, all in a convenient wheeled package you can take anywhere you need power. It's rated at 7200 peak watts and 3600 continuous. My favorite feature, though, is pass-through charging, finally. Somehow, they're charging this enormous battery in just three hours. They're actually suggesting you can use its 3600 watt output to support up to four users at once. You do that through two 20 amp GFCI duplex outlets with their own circuit breakers, a USB-C and a USB-A port as well. Of course, with all that power comes weight. The Milwaukee Roll-On deodorant weighs in at 104 pounds, which they say is 80 pounds lighter than comparable gas generators. Oh, and it's packout compatible. At Pipeline, they had the Packout 6 Bay Rapid Charger mounted on top, charging M18 batteries with the Roll-On battery. Why not? Last of all, the Roll-On has one key integration that will allow you to access adjustable charge rates and, of course, track and manage inventory. All of this power comes with great responsibility. 
I'm sorry, I misread that. Cost, it comes with great cost. We're talking about $4,500, which you can spend in April when it finally hits the shelves. Also, they have something they're referring to as the Roll-On's Power Supply Cover, which costs an additional $50. Milwaukee also announced a bunch of demolition screwdrivers with cushion grips that I can only assume is for the push-in. They also feature precise fit for reducing stripping, a laser etch anti-slip tip, and of course, a hammer-ready strike cap. Coming in April, you'll be able to choose from a six inch number two Phillips, a 5 16 inch slotted, and a 3 8 inch slotted as well, all ranging from 17 to 22 bucks. Moving on to our favorite tool videos of the week, Tim Johnson got Ego's all new 56 volt 20 inch farm and ranch chainsaw and immediately put it to the test to see if it could deliver on the pretty hefty power claims that they're making. Tim was impressed with the chain speed, cut speed, and power. Sarah and I also have plans to put this beast to the test very soon, and I'm anxious to see firsthand what it can handle. But until then, I never get bored watching Tim work. Todd from Project Farm is dirty. Gross. Well, I mean, his hands are dirty after testing the best hand cleaners this week. And yep, that's a sentence. This week he took on the challenge of finding the best hand cleaner that won't destroy your skin, but get the job done to break down oil, dirt, and anything else you might get on your hands while on the job site. My favorite brand is the one that claims it can remove, quote, grease, paint, crud, and even fill. Okay, wait a minute. It claims to remove both crud and fill? I know! If you have a dirty job but want clean hands at the end of the day, I highly recommend Todd's video. Now it's true, lots of us have tiny shops, but as Room for Tools likes to remind us, there's always, you know, room for tools. And this week he set out to see if he could improve the performance or efficiency of his M12 shop blower just by using a different M12 battery. Are you sick of forcing with your bare hands? Am Me I? Me too! But life was just made easier with Milwaukee's M18 brush cutter attachment. It's awesome, it works great, it makes cutting thicker brush in overgrown areas way easier, so on and so forth. But the real reason I wanted to feature this video is that. Mark removed the cutter attachment and replaced it with an 8-inch chainsaw blade. It's like a beautifully haunted nightmare of happiness. Right? As always, use any power tool with all proper safety gear and as the tool was intended to be used. But also, go watch this video. Yeah, no, that's gross. The Torque Test channel thinks large angle grinders are, quote, getting insane, and then they proceeded to prove it. They took a detailed look at three examples this week from DeWalt, Metabo, and Milwaukee. And for the record, Metabo's tool name is so long that TTC wasn't even willing to say it out loud. Model number on screen because they make them so long we can't even read that. So when Sarah and I rattle off things like Metabo WEP 19 150 QM brush six inch angle grinder, it comes from a place of love for this community. That and we likely have more time on our hands than the team of TTC who actually works for a living. Toolbox Buzz braved the January winter for us to feature a couple Hudson log splitters. I have only used a log splitter once and I could not believe how easy they are to use and how insanely powerful they can be. I know I asked Rob to chop logs the old fashioned way all the time and we could benefit from having a product like this. I can't imagine how much better this would make someone's life who works timber management every single day. Timber management. Yeah, it's a thing. Go check it out at Toolbox Buzz. All right, let's get to our Platinum Tool Deal of the Week. Every week, we team up with the Pro Tool Pros at OhioPowerTool.com to give 25 lucky users a coupon code that gives you access to easily the best tool deals of the week. And this week, you will get $50 off a $100 or more purchase on all in-stock gear wrench. But be quick, the code only works for the first 25 people who use it. The code you need this week is TS40765. Good luck. I want to thank Skill, Flex, Ohio Power Tool, and Tested HQ for continuing to support our show and our amazing community of tool fans. Speaking of Tested HQ, today we picked our winner from everyone who took the Tested HQ Tool Show viewer survey from last week, and we'll be sure to put their names in the comments. Because we're actually recording this on Wednesday and don't know their name yet. All right, if you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and Sarah and I will see you next week.